Little Boxes Part 4B. And this time the module is a VCV. Part 4A we looked at the LFO. In this part we're looking at the VCV which stands for Voltage Controlled Volume. Now this one is a passive module which is built around the uh, Vactrol which is the little thing that we used in part three when I built the Avalanche drone. That's the Vactrol. Um, just to remind you, it's got a light emitting diode in one end and a light dependent resistor in the other end. And we use it to convert a variable voltage in the diode into a variable resistance at the other end. In this arrangement, what we do, if we look at the box, you can see we've got an in, an out, and a CV. So one leg of the resistor, the LDR in the Vactrol is connected to the in, the other leg is connected to the out and the diode is connected to the CV bit on the bottom there um, and it acts like a passive volume control. The only difference is the rate of suppression of the uh, signal is determined by the voltage going into the CV. I've seen some of these referred to as Vactrol VCAs. VCA stands for Voltage Control Amplifier. And in actual fact, when it's plugged into a modular system, the effect that you get is pretty much the same as you will get from a VCA. The only difference is that it's not amplifying anything. It's a passive circuit. What it's actually doing is suppressing part of the signal. And the amount of suppression is determined by the control voltage going in to the diode. But Hey, it's cheap, it works, as you will see when I demonstrate what we can do with this. Um, so yeah, we'll lift the lid on the box, have a look at what it looks like inside, and then we'll plug a few things into the VCV, uh, fire it up, and yeah, see how it works. Right, what's inside the box? Before we go inside the box though, let's have a look on the outside. Input jack, output jack, control voltage jack, and an LED. The LED is just to give you a representation of the signal going in and what it's doing. You'll see that when we fire it up. So, open it up. Ignore this bit on the side here. Of course, that bit is the LFO we looked at last time. What we're interested in is just this little circuit here, which you can see there's no battery, there's no power to it. There is the Vactrol. The resistor end is connected to each of the input and output jacks. The LED end is connected to the CV jack, and that little circuit board there is just to hold the LED on the outside that shows what the signal is doing when it comes in. This circuit, if it wasn't for the sockets, would actually be pennies. <laughs> they account for something like three quarters of the cost of building this thing, and they're only 50p each. So, yeah, really cheap, doesn't require its own power source, but as you'll see in a moment, it can actually be quite useful. To demonstrate what the VCV will do, we need a sound source, so I'm going to use the Avalanche 3 drone again. Um, the output put through the guitar amp. So that's the Avalanche 3 drone just kind of droning on, if you like. So, to use the VCV, what we will do, we need some patch leads. So, we'll take the output from the guitar amp, put it into the output on the VCV. Some 
reason I seem to have got some interference. And we're taking the out from the avalanche to the in on the VCV. Turn the volume up. You can hear it's actually it's not actually doing anything. That's because we need to put a voltage into the control voltage in order to trigger the VCV. So what we can use, we can use the LFO that we built last time round. So now what you've got happening here is the signal from the LFO slow square wave signal is triggering the LED on the Vitrol which in turn triggers changes the resistance in the LDR and controls the output from the avalanche going to the guitar amp. So we can turn the LFO rate up here this is a, a baby eight sequencer another one of my little boxes which at some point I'll do a video on how I put the baby eight together and talk about what it will do in a little bit more detail but for now basically it's an eight step sequencer which if I uh, to the BCV and this time what I have on the sequencer is a gate output as well which basically sends a clock pulse for each step of the sequencer and if I now trigger the VCV with that to uh, 
Europa VCA or our VCV on a modular system is to trigger it with an, an envelope and then you've got a lot more control over attack uh, and, and release or a, attack, decay, sustain, release depending on how sophisticated your envelope is. I haven't built an envelope into a little box although uh, I do have, I have built envelope gener generators into uh, my other modular system, my uh, Project 9 modular system. But I think for now we'll, we'll park this um, and I will at some point do a series on the modular 9, uh, the Project 9 modular system that I built and I can talk about the envelopes in more detail on there and, and how they work um, because I actually have uh, Vactral VCAs and LFOs in, in the Project 9 so we can see how they all work together when you build them into a modular synth system but at the moment this is about little boxes these are my little boxes and you, as you can hear we can still have quite a bit of fun with those in fact we want to get modular so now Little boxes 4A, little boxes 4B, little boxes part 3, and what will be little boxes part 5. So, don't forget to come back and we'll find out all about the Baby 8 sequencer. But yeah, VCV, probably the simplest thing I've built so far. Really simple, really cheap, really useful. So go on, have a go. Build your own. A guy called Christian did a, an excellent series called Modular in a Week. In that series he built a few things which uh, I've had a go at. One of them is the Vactral VCA which I labelled in my little box VCV. There's a, a link to his page on my channel page and I've also put a link to the video he did about the Vactral VCA in the description to this video so it's well worth checking out his stuff there's some really good stuff there and it's it's helped me to actually understand what I'm doing and to have a go at building some of my own modules so thanks Christian really appreciate your work and for the rest of you go and check it out I'm sure you'll appreciate it too